Good morning, everyone, and welcome to St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Parish for the Solemnity of Corpus Christi. We warmly welcome everyone here today, especially any new parishioners or anyone visiting today. To begin our celebration of the most holy body and blood of Christ, let us sing number 940, You Satisfy the Hungry Heart, number 940. Find the readings for today's Mass by opening up our worship aid at www.seaseton.org. We're singing Psalm 116, I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. It's number 1090 in your hymnal. Please sing it after me now. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. Our Mass today is celebrated by our pastor, Monsignor Rick Roy, assisted by Deacon Mike Fitzpatrick. As we begin Mass, let's take a moment to silence our cell phones and to come to a quiet awareness of God's presence here, remembering the needs of our loved ones and our world, and thanking God for his blessings. Please stand now and welcome each other by name to this celebration.
Our opening hymn is number 837, Gather Your People, number 837. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. And welcome as we gather on this Corpus Christi Sunday. This is a Sunday when we lift up and celebrate uh, the importance of the Eucharist, the celebration of the Eucharist in our lives as Catholics. So as we now gather as the body of Christ, let us call to mind our sins and ask God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the body given to our salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the blood poured out for us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the strength and nourishment we need on our journey to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory Lord God heavenly King O God Almighty Father Glory to God. 
Let us pray. O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us a memorial of your passion. Grant us to so revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that it may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I want to invite all the youngsters who wish to go apart for the Liturgy of the Word to come up. Okay. Gather round. How are you? Good. Good. All right. Did y'all have a good week? Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you yesterday. Well, you know. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope you, have a, hope, hope you have a good day here today, all right, and get a good week off the start. Well, let me ask the Lord to bless you as you go forth. May the Lord open your hearts, your minds, your ears, that you might hear his holy word and give you the grace to live it in peace. Go in the peace of Christ. A reading from the book of Exodus. When Moses came to the people and related all the words and ordinances of the Lord, they all answered with one voice, we will do everything that the Lord has told us. Moses then wrote down all the words of the Lord and rising early the next day, he erected at the foot of the mountain an altar and 12 pillars for the 12 tribes of Israel. Then, having sent certain young men of the Israelites to offer holocausts and sacrifice young bulls as peace offerings to the Lord, Moses took half of the blood and put it in large bowls. The other half he splashed on the altar. Taking the book of the covenant, he read it aloud to the people, who answered, All that the Lord has said, we will heed and do. Then he took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, saying, this is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words of his. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. How can I repay the Lord for all his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise, I will call on the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. How precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful your servant I am, the son of your handmaid. You have loosened my bonds. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. A thanksgiving sacrifice.
sacrifice I make, I will call on the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came as high priest of the good things that have come to be, passing through the greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made by hands, that is, not belonging to this creation, he entered once for all into the sanctuary, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling of a heifer's ashes can sanctify those who are defiled so that their flesh is cleansed, how much more will the blood of Christ, who, through the eternal spirit, offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from dead works to worship the living God. For this reason, he is mediator of a new covenant, since a death has taken place for deliverance from transgressions under the first covenant, those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. The word of the Lord. From the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory Glory to you, o Lord. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, Jesus' disciples said to him, Where do you want us to go and prepare for you to eat the Passover? He sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city, and a man will meet you carrying a jar of water. Follow him. Wherever he enters, say to the master of the house, the teacher says, where is my guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? Then he will show you a large upper room furnished and ready. Make the preparations for us there. The disciples then went off, entered the city, and found it just as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover. While they were eating, He took the bread and said the blessing, broke it, gave it to them and said, take it, this is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, and they all drank from it. He said to them, this is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed for many. Amen. I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Then after singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. (laughs) So springtime is a big time for gatherings and parties. Uh, It's time for graduations, weddings, 
First Communions, Confirmations, even Ordinations. And beside people, the common element of all these gatherings is food and memory, telling stories. Today, my friends, the gospel is about food and memory. Let's look at it for just a moment. We have just heard St. Mark's account of the Last Supper. It's the night before Jesus dies. He gathers with his closest of friends to celebrate the Jewish Passover. Now, in the Jewish Passover, those who were around the table shared a common meal. As the story was told, how God freed them from Egyptian slavery and melded them into his own unique chosen people. They remember how God chose them from all the nations of the world to be a chosen people, a special people, a people peculiarly his own. It was through the Passover and the Exodus experience that God forged a unique relationship with the people of Israel. But on this night, Jesus did something very different. Knowing that his hour had arrived when he would sacrifice himself for the salvation of the world, Jesus decided not to look backward, but to look forward. He looked forward to his passion and death and what it would mean for him, his friends, and his disciples. And Jesus at that meal fused food and memory together. Memory this time, not about the Exodus and the Passover, but remembrance about him. Mark tells us tonight, or this evening, or rather this morning, that while they were eating, Jesus took bread, said the blessing, broke it, gave it to them and said, take this. This is my body. Then taking a cup, gave thanks, gave it to them, and they drank from it. And he said, this is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed for you. Do this in memory of me. At that night, at the Last Supper, Jesus gave his friends a very simple way of remembering him a shared meal where they could remember that in his spilt blood and broken body, he established a new and eternal covenant with the human family. And that's why the Eucharist is so important for us as Catholics, because it is here at this table we remember who Jesus is. This is how the church has kept the memory of Jesus alive for the past 2,000 years. And if the church is still here in another 2,000 years, it will be the Eucharist that has passed on the memory of Jesus and cemented us together as a people. The Eucharist is how we keep the memory of Jesus alive in our hearts. So what does that mean for us? What does that mean for how we're going to live this week? The holy food that we share at this table is meant to make a difference in our lives. You know, we are told by doctors and dietitians that we are what we eat. Food keeps us alive. Food sustains our bodies. And if we eat an unhealthy diet, our our bodies will weaken and be prone to disease. Whereas if we eat a healthy diet, our bodies remain strong. When we come to this table, we consume the body and blood of Christ. Think about that. In a few moments, I'm going to pray over this bread and wine, and it's not me, but it's the Holy Spirit that's going to transform that bread and wine into the very body and blood of Christ. It may look like bread, it may taste like bread, it may look like wine and even taste like wine, but it is no longer bread and wine. We believe as Catholics that it is the presence of the very Christ. That's our belief. The challenge for us is to become what we eat. That might seem far-fetched for us, but it lies at the heart of our Catholic faith tradition. 
St. Paul tells us in his epistles that we the people, the baptized people, we are the body of Christ. And he means that literally. He means that you and I are the continued presence of Jesus in the world today. We continue his work. We foster his values. We do his mission. Jesus does not live in a vacuum. He lives in and through you and me, his body in the world. And our challenge is to become what we eat. The Eucharist is a common meal where we share Christ together and remind ourselves who we are. We remember who we are. We are the body of Christ in the world, and we are to become what we eat, Christ's very presence for others. The Christ who heals, the Christ that forgives, the Christ that reaches out to those in need. Because you and I share at this table, because we eat the body broken and the blood of Christ spilt, now our hands are to be his hands, our voices to be his voices, our bodies to be his body. That's the very simple challenge of Corpus Christi, to simply become what we eat and what we drink, to become the very presence of Christ for others, become what we share at this table. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, many members, yet one body, that we may grow in unity and love as we manifest Christ's saving love in the world. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, that God will turn hearts from violence and further the dialogue between leaders of nations over issues of nuclear weapons and human rights. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are unable to share in the Eucharist, particularly those who are being persecuted for the faith, that the word of God and the love of fellow Christians may bring them strength and support, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For graduates and all those in new journeys ahead, that they may be attentive to the guidance of the Holy Spirit and use their gifts wisely in service to others. Let us pray. Lord, our for our parish and for all who hunger for meaning and purpose in their lives, that our needs will be satisfied by turning to Jesus, the living bread. Let us pray. Lord, for John Walker, whom we remember especially at this Mass, 
for those who are seriously ill or hospitalized, including Christina Beal, Mary Chevron, Miriam Sheck, Kathleen Fisher, Owen Himes, and Kevin Smith. And for those who have recently died, including Betty Anderson, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs of our sister parishes in Haiti and in Baltimore, the intentions written in our Book of Intercessions, and for what or whom do we pray today? And seeking the intercession of Our Lady of Peace, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. And we ask all these things with confidence through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our preparation hymn is number 925, All Who Hunger, number 925.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we here present. We pray through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering in his memory. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. As we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with all the choirs of angels and saints, may our voices be one in grateful praise as we sing. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. Make sure all the important people are back. <laughs> Lord, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look then not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other a sign of peace. God's peace, Michael. Thank you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please be seated. the body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 950, Take and Eat, number 950. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. Take and eat, take and eat, this is my body given up for Christ. you, take and drink, take and drink, this is my blood. was made. I am the seed the body that of died to be reborn. I am the, the 
body of Christ. That comes from heaven above. The body of Christ. I am your vine. The body that of Christ. Fills your cup with joy. The body of Christ. Take the and body of Christ. Eat. Take the body and of Christ. Eat. This is the body my body given the up body for Christ. you. Take the body and of drink. Christ. Take the body and of drink. This is my blood given up for you. The captives free. The I am the, the life of that Christ. raises up the dead. The body of Christ. I am your peace, true Watch peace, my, my gift spirit. to you. The body of Christ. Take and the body of Christ. Eat. Take May and God eat. Bless you with peace, this is spirit. my body. Give it up for you. Take and drink. Take and drink. This is my blood. Give it up for you. The body of Christ. I am the Lamb that takes the body away of your sin. The body I of am the gate that guards you the night and Christ. day. You are my flock, you know the shepherd's voice. The body of Christ. You are my own, the you body of ransom Christ. is my blood. The body of Christ. Take the body of Christ. and eat, take and eat. This is my body, give it up for you. The body of Christ. Take and drink, the body of Christ. take and drink, this the is my blood given up for you. The body of Christ. I am the cornerstone the that God has laid, a chosen stone and precious peace, in his eyes. You are God's dwelling place the body on of me, you The body of Christ. Like a living the soul, a temple for God's praise. The body of Christ. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Take and eat. The body of Christ. Take and eat. The body of Christ. This is my body, given up for you. Take and drink, take and drink. This is my blood, given up for you. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body, given up for you. Take and drink, take and drink. This is my blood, given up for you. Maybe something I take.
Grant, O Lord, we pray, that we may delight for all eternity in that share of your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Here are today's announcements. The poor box contributions today will benefit the Haiti outreach. The sacrament of the anointing of the sick will be available after mass. And I would also like to invite children and youth ages four through 17 and all adults to participate in choir next year. We rehearse on Wednesdays, the children rehearse at 4.30 and the adults rehearse at 6.30. And I would just really like you to consider um, that wonderful way to participate in the liturgy as you plan for your activities for the 2024, 2025 year. Um, please reach out to me at any time, you know, after Mass or via email to get more information. And remember that when we sing, we pray twice. So I hope that you all will join us next year. Thank you. So this is uh, our choir's final official weekend for the year. And we want to thank them and the Children's Choir for lifting us up in music over this past year. Thank you very much. And Marianne, as she says, always has the help one at sign out. So please consider being part of this ministry that so enriches our prayer, not only at the 930 Mass, but at every Mass on the weekends. Uh, this is Corpus Christi Sunday, so after the uh, 11 o'clock Mass, at 12 o'clock, we'll have Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament until, just beginning of, until the beginning of the 5.30 Mass. So please take a moment to sign up to come back to the church and spend a few moments in adoration before our Eucharistic Lord. You will notice in the table we have two relics here. The first is of our patron saint, Elizabeth Ann Seaton. And the other one is Blessed Carlos Acutis. Um, the Holy Father just uh, uh, accepted a miracle uh, that will now raise him to full canonization. So uh, if you have an intention or a prayer wish, you may want to spend a moment venerating these, uh, these uh, relics and ask for the intercession of St. Carlos and St. Elizabeth Ann. It's graduation season. So we want to offer a blessing to all the graduates this year who are with us. So if you uh, received a diploma of any kind uh, this spring, or will shortly, whether it be eighth grade, high school, or college, could you uh, please have the nerve to stand up for a moment? <laughs> no. Now, now you you kind of keep standing or this blessing doesn't work, all right? So stand up while I pray down a blessing upon you. Before you, were formed, before you were ever formed, God knew you. Well, in your mother's womb, God named you. At your birth, God breathed life into you. And today we celebrate what you have become at this moment in time. And so we pray. God of our beginnings, we thank you for the gifts of these graduates, their excitement, their awesome wonder and curiosity, their open speech and encouraging words. Their contributions have blessed and challenged us, and we are richer because of them. As they step forward into a new world that awaits, comfort their fears with the full knowledge of your divine presence. Strengthen their resolve to walk in the footsteps of Jesus. Guide their feet as they move through life, protecting them from the pitfalls of darkness while they help to lead future generations into the warmth and promise of your light. We ask that you bless them, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Good luck to you all. Thank you for being here today. Always, always a privilege to lead you in Mass. The Lord be with you.
May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. Our recessional hymn is number 616, Praise to the Lord the Almighty, number 616. <laughs> Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. Oh, my soul, praise Him, for He is your health and salvation. All you who hear, now to His temple draw near, praise Him in Adoration. Praise to the Lord, who o'er all things is wondrously reigning. And as on wings of an eagle, uplifting, sustaining, have you not seen all you? Met by his gracious ordaining. Praise to the Lord who will prosper your work and I deal you. Surely his goodness and mercy shall daily attend you. Ponder on no what the can do who with his love does be free 